Welcome to the second edition of Lockdown, Drink Up. And today I have a guest who does speak Finnish limitedly, so we decided to do it in English. Welcome, Bente. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for inviting me, Anke. Uh Tell us who you are in five words while I open the beers. Five words. Uh, <laughs> my name is Bente. I'm one of the owners of Mallas Kellari. That was the, more than five words. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you can okay. go. Okay. Craft beer pub in uh, Oulu and the uh, brewery as well. And we met Erki some while ago on, of course, a craft beer festival. Of and, course. Uh, we became friends. Yes. <laughs> That's, That's what happens in this, <laughs> in this scene. But yeah, good to have you here. You have some uh, you. education in craft beer, right? Or beer? Well, in beer in general. Yeah, I graduated as a food engineer in bachelor back in Hungary. And uh, after that, basically, I only worked in breweries. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the life. Now. That's the life. Now, this is Olari and this is Dark. So Olari Dark. Okay. All right. So today we have three rounds of beers. I hope you collected the same beers or you can collect them the whole week from b and shop. So I'm going to make these videos all the time until the restaurants open again. So we don't know how many weeks that is. We hope three, but we'll see. And this is the second edition. And today we have Finland against Sweden. I had done some Finland against Sweden earlier already, but I saw these beers on the shelf and I was like, we want to do a rematch. Definitely. And I got really good pairs. Uh, we have lager and IPA and porter. And we start with lager. So we have Olarin Panimo Ostarin Rakkitahti, Czech lager. And we have Duck Pond Lipitsaner Pilsner, Czech lager. So it should be an even fight. We are going to choose the best from each three rounds, just by the taste, just by the taste. And of course, like nose, but no like branding and anything like that. Yeah, just only the, the beer. Just the beer, yes. Okay. So let's start with Olari. All right. Uh, you have to say, yks huikka kaikki tietää säännöt. Yks huikka kaikki tietää säännöt. Tietää säännöt. Cheers. Cheers. This is uh, really clean. Nothing, nothing wrong with it, which I'm not surprised about. Uh, Quite clear, like almost, yes. yeah, almost like completely clear. What I really love is the foam. Mm. It's actually, it's really there. It yeah. has a structure. And, and it's staying there. It's staying there. The it's... duck pond has already gone. But yeah, this is staying there. Yeah. yeah. And no malt. It's more, more, more like hop forward, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely not a crispy yeah. Jack Lager. It's like, it reminds me more of like this really basic, like, I think in Hungary we have more of these kind of laggers, like on even on the macro side, a bit more the hoppy, mm. hoppy forward, but not like overly hoppy, yeah. not too bitter. It's more like the yeah. aroma hoppy. Yeah. Good start. Let's compare it to the duck pond. So this one is a tiny bit hazier than that. And this also, this, this has more malt. There's, uh, I, I think like more flavor in this, but I think this is kind of a, a bit cleaner flavor, so it's like if you not, don't know anything about uh, of taste, this might be better for somebody because yeah, it has a distinct flavor and this is like cleaner and more neutral. Yeah, like I would say that usually this is what I would get in a like a small local brewery pub in a countryside yeah. somewhere in Czech Republic, for, like because this is what I got before, mm. and this is like what I would usually get, like you know, as like everywhere else basically mm. that this has like a bit of like stronger character yeah but yeah it's like yeah it's funny that same category but they are still yeah. so different from each other and as i suspected both really nice beers yes. and now we have to decide which is the winner of the lager round so pense guess first which do you choose do you choose finland or sweden well i have to be honest after the amount of skiing I had to do today, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with the Olaring Vanimo. I'm gonna have to go with Finland. Fair enough, fair enough. Just because you did skiing today. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think that you're skiing in Sweden? <laughs> Definitely not like us here. <laughs> but I actually agree with you. I, I, I find it kind of clean and like lower in the taste, a bit hoppy, but still like Maybe easier to drink, like yeah. And this has like more taste. Whoa! Yeah. So yeah, Finland wins round one, 
and we're off to IPA. So IPA round from Finland. The rising star Salama. Mosa boy, new Espo Pale Ale. I think it's a plain worse with New England. And it says it's a hazy pale ale, 5%. Have, haven't tried it, interested. And then we have Stig Badiets from Sweden with their Session IPA. So this was 5% and this three and a half. So there should be some advantage on the Finnish one, Salama, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I would say that uh, if if it's equal in the end, then I would say that the Stigberg gets has the kind yeah. of like you know the. It has a slight slight advantage if they taste exactly as. Well. Yeah, because they can achieve that with this lower alcohol. So yes. Let's see. Let's see. First Salama. Salama is really light on the palate, but the fruitiness is like way up there. It's, yeah. It's really yeah. refreshing, but it's surprisingly light. Yeah, definitely. I'm more used to, you know, the double IPAs from them, yeah. like, which are like 7-8%. Of, so. <laughs> of course we are. And we have been having this lately, these double IPAs, so they, yeah. they, of course they feel light. But uh, yeah, solid stuff. No, nothing nothing yeah. like wrong with it. <laughs> no, nothing wrong with it. I'm really curious actually about yeah. the second beer. Yeah. Uh, which one will come up as a... Yeah, we'll see. Stig Bergets. Stig Bergets. What do you got to say, Benze? Well, I have to I have to say that Stigberg at this usually brewery doesn't really disappoint us. No. I had them no. quite often in the bar, on tap, and in uh, cans as well. Um, it's a really light one. It's a stronger on body. It's it's thicker compared it's to the mouthfeel is so full. Other one, so I think it's hazier as well. Yeah, it is. I think I the color is them, yeah. better. But yeah, I think this is quite lightly hop compared to this one probably because this is so murky and so thick. It's ridiculous, like three and a half percent how thick. I this wouldn't is. actually. I wouldn't say that. I would say the salama is lighter. If mm. I, if it would be yeah, one, they easily. probably me too. Yeah, they would trick me to have. Yes, easily. <laughs> and the color is like a bit of gray, which I actually like because if if a if a New England IPA turns like a bit gray, I think that's 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 a good thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And this is just clear, like straw color. Mm -hmm. And the taste, this is also really, really fruity. And I, I enjoyed it. I would say even though the salama is a bit thinner, mm. but the taste is still longer. Mm. The fruitiness stays longer mm. in my mouth. And that actually is really important when I, mm. I like, when I drink uh, nape or like when I drink these kind of fruity yeah. IPAs. So, Benze, which will you should choose? Finland? Or Sweden, round two, Finland is 1-0. I would say that in this round, almost all the factors are for me with the, with the Swedish one. It's the color, the smell, and in the end, the complexity of the taste. And again, they overcome the lack of alcohol with the three and a half percent. They were like a proper opponent, I would say, to that beer. So I will choose. Do you Sweden. choose this Bergets? Yeah. And again, I agree with you. For me, it's mainly like it, it feels thick. It feels so full. And when it's low ABV and it feels full, that's like a perfect beer because you yeah. don't you don't always need a high ABV if, if you get the taste and the body right. And this is a perfect example yeah. of that. Like if I was skiing, like I could have like five of these and I will be still totally fine in doing it. Mm, but yeah. yeah, you could almost drive a car, right? <laughs> well, let, let's not go there. But I, 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 I can ski. I can ski. Yeah. <laughs> so. Both of us, it's 1-1, one, one. Finland was goes Sweden, down the last round. and it goes down the last round, and <laughs> this wasn't even planned, so I'm kind of happy it did, though. <laughs> yeah. So let's see you back with Porters. Next, and the last round is Porters. Last week, I really enjoyed the Stieg Berges 2.8% stout, so let's see what Sonnisari and Stieg Berges again has to do. So. I have Mulkero from Sonnisari, which is 5.5, just like Stigbergets, but this also has some orange peel and some fennel seeds. And Stigbergets from an Porter only has malt and yeast and hops and water, I think. <laughs> For <laughs> basic that all? stuff. Was that yeah, all? Yeah, I all. think that's all. all. Yeah. And uh, at first I have to say I poured them both and the foam in the Stigbergets is like perfect. It's staying. Yeah. It's small and it's 
brown and unfortunately in Sony's side it just disappeared and it looks a bit like light and yeah, it's like actually. really really light color and also the beard i have to be yeah. honest the the sweetie one almost looks like a stout yeah, <laughs> to me, yeah like if i would have to compare the left like like yeah. a dark ale or something yeah the Sony side if you look at we got light coming from there it's like red you can see red but with this it's just pitch yeah. black nothing comes through it to me like when i think about like colors of uh, porters I don't have problem. To me, that's not a minus if it's like a bit, you know. Well, I won't say it's light, yeah, yeah but yeah. when it's like uh, it has it this kind lighter, of, uh, like, easier, like lighter, it's like compared. this really strong dark copper color. And uh, let's try Sunny Sari. Ixuika. It's roasty. I think the body is not. It's it's fine. It's it's like fine. There's I don't think it's like really thin. Or I think it's really thick. I'm like I'm happy with the body. They are also like actually a bit colder than they should be because we're outside and it's minus one degrees here at, at yeah. the moment. What do you think? I really like this. Honestly, this is like, uh, I have to be honest, even though I live in Oulu, Sonnisa is from Oulu, <laughs> and, uh, I never tried this beer yet. Uh, but I have to be honest, I really like it. Mm. It's what I miss nowadays is like simple stouts and simple porters with 5%. Yeah. And I know people are used to the Imperial ones and they tend to say these are watery, but honestly, yeah. there is nothing watery in this. Yeah. And, uh, you shouldn't it, compare these to the Imperial ones. If you do, you're only doing bad to the tasting experience. You should compare these yeah. to the 5% port porters, of course. They have different purpose for this. I get the really nice like darkness from the roasted stuff out yeah. of this. I get like a nice coffee character. I get chocolate. It's like it's soft but still there is enough karma it's like well, really I, it's difficult to say anything bad about yeah. it except that I, I would really love if the foam would be a bit darker yeah but yeah maybe the foam yeah because it disappears straight away and it's quite big bubbles but for me it's, it's like it's it's roasty and it's like clean and i was afraid that it's like thin because you can see through it mm -hmm. and it feels but in the mouth yeah nothing to complain it's like really definitely, nice, really definitely nice. a beer i would use for cooking also yeah okay yeah it's like sense, easily yeah. for some good barbecue marinade mm -hmm. sauce or something and the adjuncts there are like maybe being bring some like supporting flavors but they are not dominating i couldn't pin no, them. i wouldn't I, I think i wouldn't be able to say that yeah there. no but Good work, good work, really nice stuff. Let's try. Stick there, guys, then. Deep piss. Deep this is thick stuff, like compared to the ABV. Yeah, you said you, you think that it could even be a stout, but then we're like, nowadays the difference between porter and stout is just what the brewer says it is. So. Yeah, how I, I still like define them to myself, like, you know, when I make. I, I know how I make the difference between them. Like, I don't really put the roasted barley into my porters, but on my stouts, and I always leave my stouts creamier mm. than the porters. Usually, mm -hmm. porters with a bit higher carbonation, the stouts a bit creamier. And to me, this already the creamy level yeah. of if I would if I would call it myself a stout. Yeah, it's like so. It doesn't matter really. That's like which one fits better with the name, or yeah. I don't know. Sometimes <laughs> so. So yeah, this is a. Uh... It is intense with the malt flavor. It's yeah. really deep. And I get a lot of bitterness from the roasted, mm. roasted stuff, I think. It's like, I mean, good. Yeah. It's good. Like, it's not that it's bad. It's like, I really like that. Yeah, the balance is like on point with this. And I think Stig Vegas has been doing this for like ages. And so it's one of their beers that they make all the time. And like, they do also like a lot of new stuff all the time. Yeah. But this one they have done a long time. And I think they have like perfected this really well really well so i don't know like of course this is dry this was also dry so they're like traditional yeah like a bit like old school maybe as mm. well but they are like so drinkable but still so full of flavor and this is a hard one because they're both really <laughs> nice this is like a bit more intense but this is easily more drinkable because it's a bit lighter yeah but the taste is still different, there different like like approach for, for it's really difficult to yeah. actually make a make a make a winner out of this I have to say. yeah so this is like a quenchable and this is like you could think this is stronger but you don't need to think it is stronger because for a 5.5 this is what i need no. it's yeah. creamy the form is perfect it's dark it's so full of malt flavor and the uh, slight bit, uh, the bitterness to balance it now we have to choose so 
it's the moment of truth. The situation is 1-1 and 1-1, and now we have to choose the winner. Pense, what would you prefer from these two? Um, considering the situation, uh, after a lot of skiing again and now drinking some lager and IPA. Skiing I've, like 24 kilometers. Yeah, yeah, quite 22 Crazy. kilometers. I didn't do that, he did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say that um, I have to choose the fuller beer because that's what makes me feel. And you said fuller is? The Stigberges. <laughs> Stigberges. Yes. Sweden just take it. takes it. Yeah, yeah. I really love the Sonnisari beer. But at the moment I need a thicker beer and that's the like that's yeah. just like you know that's the point of tasting that just what you want at the moment in my opinion. Yeah. It doesn't define anything else. Just yes. What you want, what you desire at this moment. That's the thing. And this moment is <laughs> it's the only pretty, moment that matters exactly. at the moment. It's pretty cold. Uh, it's like <laughs> motor sled when it's yeah. there. Wow, nice. Pretty cold, pretty snowy and it just feeds better to, yeah. uh, to the scenery. And the winner for me it's also the stick berries because this has the weird balance which is really hard to get so it's like intense but still so drinkable like i could drink like a huge mug of this even though it's kind of like a full-on taste bomb right yeah and you almost feel like in an irish pub like yeah. in dublin or yeah. somewhere there's like it's like there's some music in the background that yeah. you can just take a pint easily yeah. out of this because it's i think really they balance out with this smooth like even though no lactose with smooth milkiness mm. out of it that it's like badass on taste but yeah. it's still like and i i thought in advance that it might be hard to find a competitor with this because i had this some years ago and i was like wow this is so full and so good but this this was really tight actually and, and this i had to really think about it this is really good and it's it's even more drinkable but because this is intense and drinkable and this is more just drinkable that's the reason that wins, but this is so good. Yeah. Oh, now I come, I get a lot of chocolate after drinking actually mm. the burger. And I think because there's the orange peel, it gives this kind of a fazerina feeling. Yeah. Because or orange and chocolate. So this is, this is sweeter. This is sweeter actually. So this is, this is drinkable sweet, and this is just like a old school dry, just yeah. amazing thing that yeah. <laughs> should yeah. be bigger than it yeah. is. I would definitely pick this for gourmet cooking mm. uh, and baking com yeah. compared to this and this I would choose now for the... Yeah, so if you like sweeter you probably prefer that, but if you like dry... more traditional or like the more like yeah. basic... And I have to say, uh, if a couple of bloggers, I think Bente Bente and Jaskan Galiat has said that this is not the best uh, store strength Kalpa Vahva Porter, but top two or top three or something. And I agree, if you like old school, clean stuff, you will love this stuff. <laughs> so that's it. Sweden won, barely, 2-1-2-1, two, one, two, one. but all of the beers were good, right? Yes, yeah, I don't have any complaints. Thank yeah. you for giving me these yeah, beers. Yeah, <laughs> of course, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for buying the beers if you did. If you didn't, thank you for watching the video, though. And to, if you want to help us more, you can always visit our web shop or buy our gift card or just subscribe and like the channel because the more views we get the more we can spread the joy of beer around the world the joy of beer yes <laughs> thank you very my uh, uh, guest <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> and i see you again next week if you have any ideas for next video's theme leave them below thank you so much and see you next week cheers cheers